Well, this was the moment dozens of migrants left on Martha's Vineyard learned the state was going to give them food, shelter, and other aid in a more suitable place. Now, late this morning, they took a ferry to Woods Hole and then were bused to Joint Base Cape Cod to receive those services. Republican governors Ron DeSantis and Greg Abbott have been moving asylum seekers north, trying to force Democratic leaders to deal with them. Margaret Brennan, host and moderator of Face the Nation, joining us live from Washington, D.C. And Margaret, uh, can the federal government do anything to stop this? It isn't clear uh, because we have to then get into what's illegal here um, and talk through it, which is one of the topics we're going to have uh, discussed on Sunday. Um, but what is clear here is that this this is a political stunt. It is meant to get attention, and that's succeeding. Um, but the underlying migration issue continues to be a really difficult one that Congress has not dealt with, and that the federal government will need to find some kind of housing for this record number of migrants crossing the border who now will have the ability to once again stay in the United States while they wait for an asylum hearing. Um, remember, the courts just struck down that Trump-era policy known as Remain in Mexico, which forced migrants to wait on that side of the border for their day in a U.S. court. Now they will be able to stay here. Um, we're going to talk about this uh, with someone who's been through it before, Jay Johnson, the former Homeland Security Secretary under President Obama. We're also going to talk uh, to a uh, congressman Henry Cuellar of Texas. He is a Democrat, but he's from one of the border towns, and he's been talking about the need to do more um, and his upset with uh, his party and the administration about it. Yeah, hot topic, lots to discuss. Margaret, thanks for joining us, and you can watch Margaret on Face the Nation every Sunday morning at 1030 right here on WBZ.